Nolajet here at Fat Boys Pizza in Metairie, Louisiana. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we visit Fat Boys Pizza for our restaurant review videos to experience their huge New Orleans pizza. Fat Boys Pizza is located in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie at 2565 Metairie Road, which is about 14 minutes and 7 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. We will also be paying a visit next door to Creole Creamery to enjoy some of their Christmas ice cream flavors for dessert. Fat Boys Pizza opened up in 2019 and has been a popular neighborhood pizza joint ever since, which has now grown to multiple locations around Louisiana and Mississippi. When you're looking for where to eat pizza in the New Orleans area, Fat Boys Pizza has a selection of some huge pizza options, which makes it an interesting place to enjoy a selection of New Orleans large pizza. Fat Boys Pizza serves more than just pizza as they also offer a selection of salads, chicken wings, and sandwiches, and they also have adult beverages, and this is a really popular place for families and kids love it, is they have a lot of entertainment options for both children and adults in here. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So you order at the counter and then you take a seat and have a number where they bring the food out to you. And they have some pre-prepared pizza so you can quickly order a slice from the selection here. So let's go ahead and check out the menu here and see what all you got to choose from today. So we start off with calzones and stromboli. So the calzone comes with shredded mozzarella, seasoned ricotta, parmesan, folded and baked in our house-made pizza dough. And the calzone add-ons are pepperoni, sausage, ground beef, bacon, chicken, shrimp, bell pepper, red onion, mushroom, and spinach. The stromboli, you have to get it the way it comes. You can't make any changes to it. And it has pepperoni, Italian sausage, ground beef, shredded mozzarella, mushrooms, green peppers, and red onion rolled in dough. Then we have wings. So you have a choice of naked or tossed in barbecue, honey garlic, fat boy buffalo sauce, or sweet Thai chili, served with ranch or blue cheese dressing. Then we have our salads with guilt-free gardens, Caesar salad, Italian salad, house salad, and then you can add on chicken or shrimp. Then we have sweet stuff with bananas, foster pizza, dessert knots, and fat yays, their version of beignets. Then we have drinks with fountain drinks, bar treat beer, Dessini water, and a selection of beers. And then we also have daiquiris with a fat boy, maybe 190 rum and vodka, a margarita with tequila, white Russian with 190 and vodka, a frosé with rosé and vodka. You can get the daiquiris in a 20 ounce size, a 32 ounce size, or a gallon size. And they additionally have wine and liquor available. Next we have pizza, and it's available by the slice in a 10 inch, 16 inch, or 30 inch whole pie. They have original cheese, pepperoni, the trinity with garlic oil, shredded mozzarella, ricotta, grated parmesan, tomato and basil, barbecue chicken, buffalo chicken, the hog, the veggies, the meats, the fat boy supreme, the skinny boy. Then they have a lunch special Monday to Friday with a half slice of original cheese or pepperoni pizza, choice of side salad and a fountain drink, and the fat boy special which is all day every day with a half slice of original cheese or pepperoni and a fountain drink. Then we have Fat Boy's Favorites with baked meatballs, garlic knots, Fat Boy's Jumbo Pretzel, mozzarella logs, waffle fries basket, loaded waffle fries, and meatball sliders. So I got a slice of the tomato and basil and a small iced tea and the total was $13.64 before tip. So this is my first visit here. Let's go explore. So they have a nice little bar I see right there. And then, ah, they got a nice display of all the beers they have and some wine up at the top. And there's the infamous daiquiri machines. Oh, oh, oh. And here's the huge gumball machine that I've heard a lot about and some condiments back here in the drink machines. And here's the main dining room area, but I've heard they've got more in the back. Look here. I'm meeting my pal, the Commodore here. He's taking me a little tour of this back room area. He says this is where his kids like to hang out the most because look at all this great stuff. They love the great Zoltar machine. And then they have a claw game that's also very popular with a lot of the younger kids. So there's a good mix of fun items for both kids and adults here. How is it, Commodore? You know what, it's not, you know, pizza's a very particular thing. I, 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 I can't say which is the best in the city yet but I like it a lot and I love the place and the food's good. 
I enjoy this piece. Now, who likes it more? You are the uh, baby Commodores. <laughs> the baby Commodores, you have to have the whole thing involved because they eat the, the, the gumball, they love the gumball machine and all the games, and they'll eat the food too, but they just get cheese pizza. What is that, you know? I can't just do cheese pizza. I gotta have full meat pizza. Oh yeah, you got all the meat? Yeah, but that's, that's what's left. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see what I get. Now wait, you got a bigger drink than me. How'd that happen? I don't know, I, I just, I ordered small. Look what I got. They like you better, you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> so they call this a tomato and basil pizza here. I think most people would just call this a margarita pizza. But let's go ahead and uh, dig in and give it a try. This is my first time sampling the pizza here. It's bigger than my face and my head and most of my body. I don't know if I can finish this. It's crazy. Comment below about what you think of this slice. Whoa! I gotta cut this thing to pieces. So for the purposes of filming this, I had to get a little dainty and slice the tip of this off so I could actually get it in my mouth. It was flopping all over the place. So here we go. My first taste and uh, okay, very interesting. This uh, pizza slice is not very crisp at all. It's a very doughy, soft feeling crust on here. You can see it's very easy to fold really huge, it's easy to fold, it's very easy to eat. Personally, I would like a lot more crunch to it though. Very, very soft. It's uh, kind of like fresh bread right out of the oven. Um, it's a little too uh, soft for my taste, really. I prefer more of a crunch to mine. So this, uh, this style of pizza certainly would not be my favorite type of pizza. I mean, it's pretty decent pizza. Um, I definitely have had way better margarita style pizzas. This probably would not be the version of a margarita pizza I would uh, ever want to get again. It's okay, but I think there's a lot better versions of margarita out there. So this pizza probably would be better with some other toppings. And I don't know what to really uh, do with the crust the way it is to my taste buds. It definitely would need to be more crunchy, have a little more, uh, bite to it. There's not that many air pockets either in the crust you saw there, so huh, it's very interesting. There's not a lot of uh, real uh, texture flavor going on with it. The crust also is not crisp at all. It's very soft all the way through. So the crust is soft, the bottom of the pizza is soft, and look at this. Kind of get to this part of the pizza and there's not really that much topping on it. So I kind of uh, would like a lot more toppings, a lot more sauce on it. I'm getting mostly just kind of a lot of bread texture, not you know any bubbles of any type on here. So not a lot of rising of the dough. There's barely any red sauce on it at all, or any sauce that I can detect at all for the most part. So definitely, I love a lot of sauce, and there is no sauce on this hardly I can detect at all. So, you know, there's uh, lots of things to be done to make this a lot more flavorful to me, even with the crust not being the crunchy style I like. So this just probably was not the best choice of a slice for me. So I might need to check out one of their other varieties and see if that makes any improvement to the overall flavor. Uh, you know, it's very easy to eat, certainly, with this very soft bread dough kind of texture here. And it definitely doesn't give me that really chewy crust satisfaction that I crave, but it still could be a lot more enjoyable with a lot more soft toppings on here. So now just like I've destroyed the slice of pizza, go ahead and destroy the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this huge slice. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. I even have daiquiris, jungle juice for the life. I'm a good husband, right? She has you well trained. <laughs> it's only for her. I'm done. Pizza, drinking, her daiquiri. I think that's all I need. It's nap time. Nap time. <laughs> so, what are pizza? Destroyed. The, I had the all meat pizza, which is awesome. That's what I like. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Check this out. You gotta get a video of this. <laughs> they got the whole pizza. That might be a, uh, quite a large serving.
I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some leftovers with all of these huge slices. All right, well now it's time to go right next door to Fat Boy's Pizza to one of the locations of the delicious Creole Creamery. So let's go inside and check out all the wonderful Christmas flavors of ice cream they have today. Now these uh, locations of Creole Creamery out in the suburbs are not as crowded as the one in New Orleans, so it's kind of a pleasure as look, no line, this is great. I can just go right up and start ordering while at the original one, there's almost always a line. So they've got some nice Christmas decorations in here and they've got lots of good ice cream flavors as usual, especially their holiday Christmas flavors. So look at all of these wonderfully delicious and colorful flavors of ice cream in here. Ooh, there's no shortage of delicious things and they're giving samples today. They shut that down for so long during the current epidemic situation, I almost forgot what that was like. They have a huge variety of flavors that are always changing with the seasons and the times of year. So you just need to show up here one day and check it out as it's always interesting. They also have a great selection of specialty sundaes with banana splits and shakes and malts, ice cream sodas, ice cream floats. You have choices of waffle cones and different sizes of cups and pints and quarts, along with coffee. And the menu keeps going with all sorts of delicious things, including ice cream cakes. So you need to just come in here and take a look as there's so much to see. After doing some tasting, I decided to get a four scoop sampler. So I got Christmas Eve as one of my flavors. Pine Forest also was chosen. And of course, I had to try the Bittersweet Chocolate Torte, which was a new chocolate flavor to me. And then I also had to go with one of my old standby favorites, which I always love to get, the Chef's Perfect Chocolate. So it's gonna be a little bit of chocolate love mixed in with a little Christmas love. And whoa, it's always great to have so many choices. So the total for my sampler was $6.56. And I get four scoops of delicious ice cream out of that. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's time for a little holiday ice cream. So uh, we're gonna start with the Christmas Eve flavor. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Next up is the Pine Forest. Got a little Christmas Eve mixed in, so uh, I guess this is a Christmas tree. Mm. A lot of good chewy uh, nuts and fruit in there. So this is the uh, Chef's Perfect Chocolate. I've had this many times before. Mm. Always great chocolate. Okay, next is the bittersweet chocolate tort. First time for this.
really sad. This is over. So just like I destroyed this ice cream, go ahead and destroy the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this ice cream. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account because I do offer tips and I appreciate any help with that. So thanks so much to everybody at Creole Creamery and Fat Boys Pizza for all the great food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gen channel. It's a pleasure to my Patreons. And if you would so kindly, just share this video with your friends or contacts would enjoy it. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.